I want to take you on a bit of a journey uh, into something uh, I did, but I think it's amazingly relevant now. So when I was uh, in Florence, I created this artwork. Essentially, what I wanted to do was to put inside a box everything that I considered um, who I was at that time. And so I went to one of the local markets and I found a secondhand store and there was this old beat up box that was covered in paper. And uh, I asked the owner if I could have it. He thought I wanted the contents inside. It was just some old uh, rubbish paint brushes and things like that. But I, um, I, I bought this box and I took it back to my studio and I began to um, create inside of it everything that was my life in Florence. And so if I show you this box, there you go. What I did is I, for me, what epitomized my time in Italy was the, the landscape, the cypress trees, the rolling hills. And so I did a quick watercolor wash and stuck that inside. And then also obviously the, the colors of, uh, of Florence, the terracotta, the burnt sienna. And you'll see that's a, a, one of my old tubes of burnt sienna paint that I just stuck inside there and then where I ended up living in Florence was this um, if we open this little window shutter that I made you'll see this church is in Fornello and I ended up staying just above it in the countryside in Campania and then over here you will see a um, over there is just part of the what I was uh, believing in terms of my faith and what's important and where life is and and just my goals and what uh, and and what my ambition was in going to Italy. So everything inside this little wooden box, in a way, epitomized my life at that time. And uh, I'd rediscovered it now, cleaning up. And I thought, what a great um, analogy for for where we are right now. Um, that we are in this time of lockdown, we're all in our little boxes. What do our boxes look like? I just want you to take some time to um, to talk about the boxes that we find ourselves in. You know, one of the the great quotes that I read about, um, you know, we've got to think outside of the box and we're so stuck in our thinking, but it isn't enough to think outside the box. Thinking is passive in a way. There needs to be some sort of action. We've got to get used to actually acting outside of the box. I think there's great power there. In terms of just uh, taking that first step, you know, I've been convicted and I've had a lot of conversations with people uh, recently um, just about the power of getting started on something uh, as ill-equipped, as unready, um, as, uh, as unprofessional, whatever it is. There's power in going outside of your thinking and not just in your thinking, but in, in actually making something happen outside of that. I mean, Steve Jobs, he said a brilliant quote. I just read it. I mean, we know Steve Jobs always thinking out of the box was is Apple. But he says, that's been one of my mantras, focus and simplicity. Simple can be harder than complex. You have to work hard to get your thinking clean to make it simple. And I just think there's uh, there's a lot in our lives that is becoming simplified as we've uh, We've decluttered a lot. COVID has decluttered a lot. And so we've got this remarkable time to not only think outside of the box. I mean, another great quote is, you know, thinking outside of the box presupposes that there's been some thinking happening in the box. And I, I, I pray and hope that you've had a lot of chance to think inside the box. Is this who I am? What are my skills? What can I do? How am I going to survive? Where will I get money from? What am I good at? Who's going to value me? What value do I bring to the world? These are great questions to ask. And I want to say to each one of you, as I've also wrestled with as an artist, being true to yourself, knowing and doing the deep work of simplifying who am I really? What do I bring? And finding that is the most difficult but most rewarding and an important journey to take. And I think COVID gives us that moment to begin to simplify what is always complex. The world will project many different things on who you should be, what box you should be in, what your box should contain. Uh, and so my, um, my encouragement this morning is, as I've made a box that just shows my little bit of a moment in time of my life, uh, it's become much bigger than that. And so there's two things. You need to act outside of the box. You can't just think about what 
needs to happen outside of the box and also there needs to be a substantial amount of thinking inside the box as well and we're in this boxy time for want of a better word for lockdown i think it's probably better where we actually get time to consider to think to question all of these things so that when we when we and don't overthink that's the other thing just act sometimes i think we 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 far more creative when we just act and don't overthink things uh, but great to um, connect with you. Thanks for all of the support and the comments. I'm really encouraged, and they they're adding a lot of um, a lot of uh, enthusiasm and energy to my own work and to my own creative process. So super. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.